We have stayed in a little town called Capel and it's around 200 kilometers out of Perth um, along the coast and but it's just a little 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 bit inland and um, it's a free camping spot it's 24 hour free camping you just have to be um, fully self-contained and I've already had a nice conversation with the ranger and he just came and made sure that I had enough water and I wasn't dumping any of my waste or grey water and um, we had a nice little chat before, before we get going though I've been lying in bed at night and looking at my fan here thinking I really need to clean it it's really dirty and the the dirt is like literally stuck on there so I need to get this clean so tonight I can stare out at the stars and know that it's all spick and span and then I'm going to show you around cable and then we are staying so um, the 24-hour RV parking is um, literally right near the town center uh, there's paddocks on one side as you can see just flies on my face um, and it's right next to the dog park check this out look at that huge oval this is off lead dog exercise area and then there's the um, RV parking. Now there is only allowed to be three RVs parked here at one time. So, um, you know, like today is a Monday, no one's here. I'm the only one here. Except for other dog walkers in the park, but they're obviously here. So before coming into the park yesterday, I checked on Wikicans just to see what the um, specifications were. And it basically just said like 24 hour, free camping, three bays, no dumping of grey water. So when I spoke to the actual ranger, I suppose every ranger in every shire has a different specification of what they class as fully self-contained RV. So I think because my van is so small that I always get questioned on if I have like enough water, um, if I have a toilet on board and the rest of it. So um, they didn't actually specify that I have to have a shower even though I do have a shower. It's just, it's a portable shower so really, I don't know. Some of these campsites are a little bit confusing. I am currently down south and I know that in these areas sometimes you're not allowed to have dogs because a lot of it is on National Park and I did actually read one of the free camps in Bunbury you must have a um, fixed sink with a grey water bucket underneath it um, and you have to obtain an actual permit from the council before you park at the site because it's right on the beach. So knowing that, and I don't have a fixed sink, I won't be going there. So, but we we are going to try and do a hike today and head to the beach and have a look a bit around um, Capel and just see what they have to offer. Ignition on my car has been playing up a little bit and I don't really know what the it is. Just another thing I'm going to have to get fixed. 
van life, it just never ends. We're just gonna go for a bit of a walk through Cape, well, aren't we, Tonka? And I've just spotted the bakery. just like cleaning the toilet and pulled the lid thing off and dropped my hat into it. My favourite hat. So I just had to wash it. It may never look the same again. So at the Cable dump site you actually just need to ring up the um, council which the number is actually on the board there because everything is padlocked. So you can actually um, get into the cabinet also to collect the hoses to fill up your water and everything again. So it's a great idea actually. It stops people from dumping stuff that they shouldn't down the dump site. My hat there. Hopefully it'll dry. So it's actually getting really quite a hot day today. So I think we might head to the beach. And the ranger did actually say that I think it was Preston Beach. Hang on, let me check. Peppermint <laughs> Grove Beach. So it's only a nine minute drive, so we're gonna head there and go for a swim. Water's done. Grey water's dumped. Dog's happy. Let's hit the road, baby. I just spotted this church as we were driving through town and being such a church freak I had to stop. It's got beautiful stained glass windows. When I was actually cleaning out the grey water tank and that, I spotted Tonka licking the top of my hot chocolate. Now all I can taste, no smell, sorry, smell, is like his spit. <laughs> you know when your mum used to like spit on a hanky and then wipe your face? That's what I've got on my hot chocolate. Tonka! You made it smell like spit.
swim I've had in like over a year. Hands down, amazing. What a beautiful little place we have here in Western Australia. And how blessed I am that I get to see all this. And I'm really glad I can share some of this with you all. And Tonka. Hey Tonka. Yeah right. We're off to get some rolls for lunch. I feel like a salad roll. So we're just going to drive the 8Ks back into Cable and go to the local IGA and grab some fresh rolls and salad and stuff and make some lunch before we hit the road again to find somewhere to park up for our next little adventure. Traveling in a 